Hi, I'd like to talk to you about Dave Crane and Eric Pescarello's new book, Ajax in Action. Ajax is a way of combining tools and technologies to create web applications which are just as expressive and interactive as desktop applications. The book gives a thorough explanation of the various client-side and server-side technologies required to build Ajax application and provides a series of in-depth examples showing how to best use Ajax. I'd like to show you a simple Ajax application. This lets us search information regarding the planets of our solar system. As for the hot planets. Notice how the search was run without explicit intervention on my part. I didn't hit enter. I didn't click on a submit button. One of the great things about Ajax is that it allows us to create truly dynamic and interactive web applications. Ajax also allows us to provide the user with instantaneous feedback. For example, notice the loading text that comes up immediately after the user submit the query and even before the server has returned the answers. Let's see that again. As you can see, instantaneous feedback. Now, I'd like to take a second and show you what exactly the server is sending to the client when running this search app. So I'm going to call the CGI script behind this directly. Sorry, search.xml. No. Now I need to learn to type and to remember the examples that I prepare. Mainly type. There we go. Notice how this is just pure XML. In this Ajax app, we've relegated the server to the role of a pure information source. And we've moved all of the presentation and graphical work onto the client. You're probably thinking, at least I thought at first, that this requires some very complex JavaScript to get running. Well, I'd like to show you the code behind this application. Jump over. This is the source code for our Ajax app. This simple line of code right here, this is what provides the user with that instantaneous feedback which is what distinguishes Ajax applications from classical apps. The get search results function here, this sends off two Ajax requests which fetch the XML data and an XSL style sheet. The update search results function down here takes the XML data and the XSL style sheet. It then creates on the client the HTML for the search results and it then dynamically updates the client's page without having to reload the entire page. So take a good look at that. That's all there is to it. It's even simpler once you're in the JavaScript API and you get a good idea of how Ajax applications work. The entire thing is, let me count, 35 lines. The book talks about all of this and more at great lengths. I've got an Ajax style table of contents I'd like to show you. I'm going to jump to the book's website. And off the website, if we, go, if we go down here, get the dynamic table of contents. Now, this table of contents is built using the accordion component from the Rico JavaScript library. As you can see, here's all the information in the book. Chapter 5, this introduces the example we just saw. In particular, chapter 5.4 talks about XML and the use of XSLT to limit the server to a pure data source, which doesn't need to worry about presentation, and let the client deal with the graphics and the layout and the colors and whatnot. Chapter 6 talks about developing interactive Ajax applications and providing the user with feedback. Chapter 7 provides an in-depth coverage of the security issues involved in Ajax applications talks about how to safeguard mobile code and protect the user's data from being used in ways we don't want. Chapter 8 provides, again, an in-depth explanation of the profiling and optimizing techniques available to Ajax programmers. And it shows you how to create lean and responsive Ajax applications. Chapters 9, 10, 11, and 12 each provide a complete, complex example of an Ajax application. And chapters, sorry, appendixes A and B down here at the bottom provide a great reference to the Ajax libraries involved. This wraps up this short screencast for Ajax in Action. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you can go to the book's website, and I suggest you download the longer version of the screencast, which goes through the example in much more depth. Then, I sincerely hope you'll buy the book and develop your own great Ajax applications. Thank you very much, and happy hacking.